In the Tools menu, under Helpers, you find the Polar Coordinates Calculator. This tool is made to make it easy for you to calculate polar coordinates. It is an alternative to drawing it in SimCam and have the program generated for you. The tool can be used for lathes, cutters, and milling machines. Normally, we give 2D coordinates by telling their position along the X and Y axis, in lathes it's X and Z axis. A polar coordinate, on the other hand, uses a distance and an angle from a reference point to describe its location. This tutorial is made in millimeters. Open a milling machine and go into settings and select millimeters if you do not already have it set. We have made a simple drawing in SimCam to show how the polar coordinates calculator can be used. We are going to follow the three blue lines. As you can see, we do not see any coordinates for the endpoints. Instead we find lengths and angles for the lines. Let's start with the program. Type dollar add embedded reg part 1, 20, 20 to add an embedded workpiece to the machine table. Type dollar read t is embedded tool so that the simulator will use tools from the embedded tool registry. Type g92, x20, y20, z30 to move the zero point. Type T2, MO6, to select the tool. Type G00, X-10, Y-10. Z2. Type G01, Z-1, MO3, S1000, F200. X0, Y0. Type X50 to make the first cut. We are now at this position on the drawing. As you can see, we only know the angle and the distance to the next coordinate. This can easily be solved with the polar coordinates calculator. In order to have the start point preset in the calculator, we simulate the program. The start point will automatically be set to the current tool position when we start the calculator. You can find the polar coordinates calculator in the tool menu under helpers. Type in angle 45 and distance 50. You will see a preview of the calculated block. Click the button to insert the block at the editor cursor position. Now let us simulate again to update the current mill position. We are now at this position on the drawing. Open the calculator again, and this time, type in 135 for the angle. You can see that the start point has been automatically updated. Type in 50 for the distance as before. Click the button. Let us simulate the result. Now you know how to use the polar coordinates calculator whenever you find a coordinate specified by its origin, length, and angle. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss future tutorial videos. 
Have a great day.